hello everyone. <laughs> it's Helga Dalla here from Advancing Health Naturally with another interview um, with Brad McDonald from Against the Grain. Um, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit of a background before we get into the interview how I met Brad. Um, it was actually through my husband. He came home with Brad's card one day from the Kiwana markets and he, and he said, I met this amazing guy, you've got to talk to him. He's so on the same page as you with health and wellness. You've got to talk to him. So I had the card and I think I sent you a message. Um, and then we were going to hook up and like six months, 12 months went down the track. And then hubby comes home with the card again and says, you've got to get in touch with this guy. <laughs> So I reached out and lo and behold, we, we hooked up and had a, a, a good conversation and it sort of blossomed from there. Um, I love everything that Brad shares. Um, we are so on the same page with health and wellness. So I'm just going to ask you, how did you actually, tell us a little bit about your journey and then leading into how Against the Grain was established. Yeah, yeah. sure, Helga. Well, thanks for having me on here, yeah. by the way, and g'day everyone. Um, basically... I went to University of South Australia and did health sciences, not because I knew what I wanted to be or what I wanted to do, just because I was interested in, in the human body and, and health and wellness, having played a lot of, a lot of sport in my earlier years. Um, and after that, I went and did a bunch of stuff that had nothing to do with my degree, you know, chasing riches to, and sacrificing happiness on, on the assumption that you'll yeah. have riches to buy happiness later on, you know. And, and that's a trap a lot of us get caught in. And um, it was around that time I, I had to go home to Tamworth, where I was born in New yep. South Wales, and, and help my, my old man with some stuff. He went through a fair, fair ordeal there. And in that process and in that year, it forced me to look at life a little bit differently. And I didn't want to find myself in a position in five years being no richer in life experience and yes. having just worked for the man. And so I, I, I sacrificed um, seriousness for curiousness. Yep, I and, love that. Yeah, seriousness for curiousness. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, I'd been making healing balm for my whole my family's psoriasis. So pretty much exactly tweaked better ingredients now and everything. Um, and I'd been giving it to people, kids with eczema, people with skin conditions, and, and it had been working. And it was, of course, 100% plant-based. Mm. Um, and, you know, going through the psoriasis journey and myself and with my family and the, all the misinformation around autoimmune um, and me knowing what I know about the human body, I just went, something's not right here. We're not yeah. actually getting real answers. And the, 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 the treatment methods for the skin, being cortisone creams and whatnot, are a catch-22. So we developed our own. Anyway, after that, uh, I established the product and decided to hit the road. Hey, guys, come on. You're come right. Come on through. Come on through. <laughs> This is so great, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we're at the beautiful Budrum Falls um, here on the, su on the Sunshine Coast. So um, we've just got a few people coming in to um, enjoy the, the beautiful nature here. Yeah, <laughs> and enjoy the mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if you see us slapping, you know what it's about. <laughs> yeah, so basically, long story short, I, uh, a beautiful lady in Tamworth, New South Wales, uh, gave me an opportunity to, to basically finance me buying a van and, and hitting the road and, and spreading what I knew about health, wellness and wow. autoimmune and, and the skin and I was going to use these balms as a vessel to, to carry me through financially yeah. and um, had a few setbacks, the van two weeks after I bought it blew up and it's interesting because you've got to know with resistance yes. when it's time to pull away and when it's time to push through and there was no doubt in my mind that this, is, this was my authentic journey. Yes. But I didn't know the half of it at yes. that point in time and that was three three years ago just going on three years ago now and so i found myself uh, up here on the sunshine coast doing two or three markets a week um, currently kiwana farmers and noosa farmers markets on saturday sunday uh, and it's much more than just the skin now you know yes. and the skin is the window into the body as we know and and i really wanted to help people not just treat topically their issues but treat the other side of the coin yes and so against the grain health is metaphorical yeah. not literal yeah and it's about going against the flow and coming back to nature so i wanted to create skin products that weren't only non-toxic but they were so effective in what they do yes. that they were shock therapy for people and people went holy smokes like this stuff works so well I don't need all the chemicals. I don't mm. need all this fancy stuff. Nature's provided everything that we need. Yes. And, yeah. it's, and it's our job as human beings and, and custodians of this earth to facilitate that process. Love it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, so one of the products that I created is a non-toxic uh, sun protection called No Funny Business. And um, it's quite literally got no catch 22s. And although beeswax prefers, uh, it looks like this, it smells like- It's a what, great what's product. It smell like? Oh, it's nice. You can nearly eat it. Chocolate? No, well, not chocolate. It's, that's um, a funny thing, Helga, is uh, beeswax prefers the skin to the teeth, but you can eat it. Wow. It's um, absolutely non-toxic. There's no nasties. Look, zinc oxide is something you want to keep on your skin. Um, but what it does, as opposed to chemical sunscreens, which absorb UVA and B rays. Yep, you still got some on your lip. Oh, do I? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. So it's skin food, right? <laughs> anyway, um, chemical sunscreens, they convert UVA and B rays to heat. Yep. Heat opens up your skin pores. And then in go all these water soluble chemicals, petrochemicals and carcinogens that you find in nearly every sunscreen out there. Mm -hmm. What do they do when they get inside the body? There's plenty of evidence oh. to suggest they disrupt our um, hormones yeah. and our ability to, and hormones run everything from, you know, our mental um, acuity and our ability to, for our body to communicate this, like signal fires. Um, and so it's a big, it's a big issue these days and so, I just want to show you guys with this product even though it's a zinc based product it's not greasy or sticky in any way and it's skin color it really offers significant sun protection and a lot of people tell us they only need to apply once or twice Yeah, it's not white so you're not plastering all this white stuff over yeah, your face it's yeah it's tinted with um organic cocoa powder yep so kids love it yeah but we also put in there something called helichrysum and mm -hmm. it's a flower extract that treats sun damage so this will moisturize your skin yep It'll give you um, 30 plus protection for a number of hours with waterproof because of the beeswax that's in it. Yep. Um, the zinc is non-nano, so it doesn't go into your bloodstream. It stays topical and bounces the sun off you for longer. Awesome. And so I'll just show the your beautiful viewers here what I mean. So there's a, there's a knack. You warm it. You tap it like this, and then you make it disappear. And it's it's instantly not greasy to touch, and that's all you need to do. For 30 SPF protection with this product. Amazing, and, and it's just as easy to apply as well. Over anywhere, the, yeah. you can use it anywhere on the body. It sort of breaks the mold of how we think about a zinc. Yeah. And how we've been using a zinc in the past, you know, caking, caking on, on, it the, on nose yeah, like only. A, yeah. You know? Go, it's, it's almost like the Indian, the tribal thing. People need to <laughs> look like I'm zinced up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, we've got, we're just about to release this week. Um, Two new ones. So, awesome. So these ones are pretty special because I don't know, your viewers have probably have heard of carrot seed oil and red raspberry seed oil having SPFs of like 25 to 50. Yeah. So they're in these and they're different skin tones with different essential oils. We put Love essential it. oils in all our stuff. And the, and the reason we do that, Helga, as you would know, is because the skin is a sponge. Yeah, for the good absolutely. And the bad, yeah. You know? And mm. so rather than put toxic chemicals that bioaccumulate in the body and, and create disharmony um, we actually put good stuff so we flip the script on that and use the skin in a positive way and not a negative way mm. um, awesome so yeah we've got a natural deodorant that's about to come out this one's for you oh wow Helga. i was just gonna say i need another one my daughter yeah. made me some and i've just run out and i was just about to say hey i need some more of that happy days so happy no, days it's got, yeah it's got no bicarb in it. Bicarb creates a lot of irritation for the yep, people. We yep. used arrowroot powder and diatomaceous earth instead. Awesome, because I think my daughter might have put the um, bicarb in it and I was getting a bit of a rash. Yeah, it doesn't really like the skin if it's yep. every day and people use this stuff yeah. every day. So we avoided that and, and created a buttery um, Oh, this texture. is gold. I'll let you know how this goes, guys. Tester, coming up. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like we got healing balms as well. What we wanted to create is, is balms that you can use on anything, whether it be an insect bite, funnily enough, or a graze on, on your kids or on yourself. You can use them on scars. You can use them in your hair. They're, they're skin food, that, meaning that they deliver omega fatty acids to your skin, which is what your skin wants. And because we use cold-pressed organic oils, like co coconut oil from the mm -hmm. Solomon Island, Islands, yep. and our olive oil comes from the Grampians here in Australia. Beautiful. The skin recognises that. Yeah, I've tried. I've used this one before for. I just use that mainly for my wrists. Yeah. If if I was um having a bit of creaky joints happening. Yeah. But um yeah, beautiful and the smell. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and you can <laughs> use it on your face as a moisturiser too. And that's the thing is we don't need all these different products. We need one that's made with integrity. Yep. 
um, with with plant based medicine and, and totally organic and natural. Yeah. And then we can use it on all these different things. It doesn't. We don't have to buy all these different products. So beautiful. That's that's. I just wanted to let everyone know what we got. And what's this little one here? Uh, that's what you call a detox coffee scrub. So ah. caffeine, when applied to the skin, dilates the blood vessels and allows your skin to open up and release toxins. Yep. Um, so we put uh, organic hemp oil in there, um, MSM, which is a detoxing uh, sulfur action. But our philosophy is similar to Ayurvedic medicine. As is below is so above. So Love that. as is below is so above. Yeah. So yeah. why do we shortchange your skin all the time? Why yeah. aren't we giving it? Why have we got it's cosmetic? It's the biggest organ of our body. Come on, yeah. you know. <laughs> and I think generally people are uh, wisening up to this. You yeah. Know? And it's really important for our health and wellness. I um, love this delicious Danny and coffee da scrub. And Danny, by the way, who is Danny? Uh, Danny O is my, my wife who I met on the road. And uh, come you over here, babe. Come say hello. <laughs> you might have to move across. You might have to move across. So here's Danny. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> and, and who do we have here? Come here. Come on. We've got the other family member here. And this is Norton. <laughs> One ear up, one ear down. You know, they'd expect nothing less from a guest of rain dog. Yeah, it's a family affair here. So this is our van dog. So we go on the road and we do markets around Australia and we go and do educative talks at, at various places. And so now we've got a mascot. Awesome. <laughs> and um, these guys actually just got back from, was it Toowoomba? Uh, Tweed Heads. Um, Tweed Heads, where they attended the... Um, oh, thanks. Oh, no worries. <laughs> Never had someone get a mozzie for me before. <laughs> First time. <laughs> um, it was the... Uh, what Medical was it? Cannabis Symposium. Yeah, yeah. Share, us, share some of the big takeaways. I'll just yeah, move yeah, this camera sure. around a little bit. Beautiful. Yeah, so look, we, we went there to, to sort of... I mean, I'm pretty aware of how, of how cannabis interacts with the human body. Um, because it interacts with a system that's known as the endocannabinoid system. And yep. that's the biggest takeaway in all of everything that's coming out of medical cannabis is that people need to understand that the compounds that are found in cannabis, are not just the ones that make people high, although that is a very important one, they stimulate a system Whoops, which, got... which sits above all of our other systems and it's like the conductor to the orchestra. So it keeps everything working in harmony, mm. everything communicating properly. It can initiate responses. It can block responses, like why it works for epilepsy. Yeah. It, it, it can kill certain types of cancer, which is not an exact science. We're still learning about this plant and, and how we can, we, how we can oh. apply it. But beyond all the science and all the different ways that we can apply this plant, whether it be for cancer or autism or epilepsy or autoimmune disease, the biggest takeaway is that by stimulating this endocannabinoid system, which is in your brain, it's in your body, it belongs to all animals, like cannabis does, we can bring harmony into the body. And when you bring harmony into the physical body, it heals itself. You get a new body every 12 months. And the only thing that's keeping it the same is its memory of itself and, 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 and the programming and the repetitive behavior that, yeah, and the food that we put crucial. into it and the, and the chemicals that we're exposed to and the choices that we make. And so. If we can position the body to be in harmony, then the body will, will really help us. And Absolutely. that's the biggest thing that, that people need to realize with this um, is, is that no, it's not a, can a cure for cancer because cancer is a multifaceted yeah. disease that has root causations from everything from acidity to prolonged poor digestive health mm. to, to bioaccumulation of chemicals in cosmetics mm. and in and on our food stress and yeah. oxidative stress. Yeah. You know, one of the reasons I talk to people about their NRF2 anti-inflammatory yeah. pathway is because of its ability to resist oxidative stress. And that's what I do love about NRF2 is that it, it facilitates one of the body's natural healing processes, yeah. which is that anti-inflammatory pathway. Yeah. And, and that's the thing is like, you can bring all the scientists from around the world. And we had top laboratory researchers there from, from Israel. Oh, wow. Um, who, who are conducting amazing researches over there on how we can clinically best apply the cannabis plant. But the body has an intelligence built into it that is far superior mm. to any science that we've ever developed. Mm. And so we've got to work out how to go with that. And synthetic man-made chemicals, they don't react well in the human body. And plant-based medicine, because it's embedded in our physiology, does. Yeah, it just makes sense. And it's, um, I think the times 
I feel a massive shift. I don't know about mm. you, oh, yeah. and it's happening. And and I'm super excited that people are, are challenging the status quo, challenging the doctors. There is another way. Um, it's just actually having an open mind. Um, and yeah, um, medicine's ha has its place, but it's not not the be end. And Look, yeah, Helga, in the early 1900s. 90% of women in first world countries like Australia mm. knew how to use herbs and yes. plant-based medicines to support their family's immunity and to and to help them with the illnesses that we come across. That was less than 100. That was 100 years ago. It wasn't that long ago. And you'd be lucky if 2% mm. of the population mm. knows now. Mm -hmm. So what's happened is because of the science has been amazing yeah. and, it's, and it's been necessary. But because of the way that we've been approaching medicine, taking synthetic chemicals yeah. instead of what nature's already provided, we're sicker and more unhappier than ever before. Yeah, and I've noticed the younger generation too uh, uh, getting diseases that were once um, aged people's diseases. Mm. Why are young kids getting, you It's know? the first time in history that our children are dying before us. Yeah. So the leading cause of death oh, in children under goosebumps. 15 mm. is cancer. Yeah. Australia has the highest rates of cancer in the world and mm. you've got to ask the question well why with all of these scientific revelations why are we so sick well I know one of the big reasons mm. to be and I know it to be true and that is because of chemical exposure and I'm not just talking about synthetic medications which have their place it's at extreme situations only but it's the chemicals sprayed on your crops the herbicides and pesticides it's the aluminium we're exposed to it's the 140,000 chemicals registered for use in cosmetic products in Australia, 75% of which have never been tested for safety on the environment or on the human body. Wow. And the ones that Big have been stats. and the ones that have mm. been tested, Helga, they're tested on their own. Mm. But there's a thing called bioaccumulation. These yeah. these toxins and these chemicals they build up in your body, and your body can get rid of some of them. But <laughs> no, runaway dog. <laughs> Your body can get rid of some of these chemicals, but not the amount that we're exposed to today. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, and absolutely. And so really, what can we do? Well, we have to be preemptive, Yeah, that's for sure. Um, and it's not just doing a, a spring detox once a year. No. It's drinking the right water, alkalized, filtered water, getting the chemicals out of, you know, fluoride and chlorine and, mm. and the chemicals from agricultural runoff, the chemicals mm. that go up with evaporation and, and come down somewhere else with rain. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Um, it's, it's eating organic food, knowing where you're getting your food mm. from, because it's not all the same. Yeah. The minerals that we used to have in our food, they're, they're not there anymore. No, exactly. In, in abundance. Yeah, you and know? water is crucial. I must talk to you about um, another um, water it's activated water. It actually brings, puts mm. the neg negative ions to the outside, positive Pos to the inside. Yeah, yeah pH Perfect um, has mm. developed one. They're, they're local to the Sunshine. Yeah, they, they, these guys, are a farmer owns a farm and he does his own probiotics. It's just beautiful. Yeah. I'll have to have a chat to you about it. But um, yeah, you get your bottles and you just spin the water and you vortex it yourself. Yeah, just like nature does. Yeah, and so. you bring it back so it's not sitting there stagnant. Yeah, yeah. And, and like one of the things with water that's important to touch on, um, guys, is that you might have a water filter in your home and you drink filtered water and that's great, but you're gonna actually absorb more chemicals yes. through your skin in the shower than you will from drinking. And, and that's something that a lot of people don't know. And mm. so you gotta actually address that. You gotta have something, a uh, restructuring device at your water main so that all the water in your house. That's what I just, yeah, we just had fitted to our place. You did, yeah. Yeah, amazing. Makes a big change. Yeah. Well, we're subtly looking and I keep saying to Greg, look at our crop. Look at our plants. Everything's growing. He said, no, I don't know. It's, it, but it's the time of year. And I said, I don't know. I just feel everything seems to be blossoming, yeah. you know, within the, in this water. Yeah. So we drink it. I said, I want it on the whole house. I want it on the garden. I want it on yeah. the lawns, on the plants. Um, we're trying to, we're growing our own celery now. Perfect. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And this is what we need to do. If we're going to reclaim our health yep. and reclaim ourselves yep. in that process, then we've got to start to be accountable for the decisions that we make. And we've got to be preemptive in, in addressing these environmental mm. oxidative stresses that we're exposed to and offset them. Absolutely, absolutely. Do you, can I um, ask you a little bit, do you want to touch on gut health, your take on gut health oh, as yeah. well? Yeah. Sure. Um, I know it's a massive subject, you know. 
the gut, the brain, the connection, the yeah. 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 Well, you know, serotonin is 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 manufactured in your gut, and that's your feel good chemical. So a lot of people with brain fog and depression, they usually, by no coincidence, have gut health issues. Um, so the microbiome is is basically where our immune system is. Mm. It's the engine room for yeah. our immune system, and. Um, there's a lot of good bacteria in there that needs to be replenished. Yep. And bacterial cells outnumber human cells in the human body 10 to 1. Wow, so we're 10 to 1. We're more of a microbe than we are a human, yeah. really. Uh, it's just that human cells are bigger. Yeah. And so it's a big part of our journey into wellness is to cultivate uh, a healthy environment in our, in our digestive tract. And, and one of the big things that I'll have to mention um, is parasites. Yes. So as a root cause for cancer, as a root cause for autoimmune, as a root cause for many of our illnesses in the modern era, parasites, we used to take wormwind tablets when we were yeah, young. Yeah, 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 I you know, remember the and day. Then yeah. Yeah. And then it all stopped. And then it all stopped. And yeah, then, I don't think you can buy them in the shop anymore, can no. you? Worming tablets for kids? Well, alarm bells. Yeah, You know, yeah. but they didn't go anywhere, the parasites, you know, some people I've been working with have had, you know, 40 centimetre tapeworms come out of them. Yeah. Can you, you imagine, like, so... So parasites will hide in your cerebral spinal fluid, they can hide behind your eyes, they can hide in your organs, and they have a biofilm around them that protects them from your immune system. It's why it's so incredibly hard to get rid of them. Mm. And so one of the big things in addressing parasites is to first fix your digestive health and the intestinal permeability, so the gaps in your, in your stomach, yep. um, because that's where parasites around the full moon will go to feed. Yeah. Full moon, lunacy, yeah. it's all adding up, right? It's all Just part all of makes it. sense. It's all part of the... Yeah, uh, yeah. So the one product, Mo Mimosa pudica, or shy plant, it's here in Australia, it's, it's all around the world, Mimosa pudica seed. Yeah. At all the parasite summits around the world, this is the one they talk about. Parasites hate them, can't stand it. So I've given a protocol, a parasite protocol to people, which involves, first of all, reducing inflammation, second of all, um, stimulating the parasympathetic nerve. Yep. So rest and digest as yep. opposed to fight or flight yes um position the body to heal cultivate an environment conducive Shift to healing, to healing. Um, Love it. and then address gut health and then hit them with mimosa pudica for two or three months and some people have had upwards of 10 wow parasites and different ones come wow. out of them and and uh brain fog um sleep issues all of these problems start to ease as a result of, of yeah. addressing parasites as a root cause for, for disease. Yeah, yeah. I know I interviewed um, recently um, a chap that had parasites and he was quite in a bad way. The doctors just kept throwing antibiotics, antibiotics, antibiotics at him to the point where it was feeding it and it was feeding off his gut and his whole life was shattered. He couldn't go to school. The doctors gave up. They didn't know what to do. And lo and behold, these five herbs in our in RF2 activator allowed his body to do what it's designed to do and he's fine, he's back at school, he's got a job, he's yep. got his life back. That's it. And it's just about cultivating the environment so the body can body heal can itself. body can do what it's designed yeah. to do. And, yeah. and that's why it's really important to move past the propaganda of cannabis. Mm. Because it is a lock and key for a system that overrides our other systems and harmonizes them. Yeah. And, and people deserve to access this for that reason. Yeah. You know, and we've come to a point in Australia where we're just the lap dogs of the world. We always do everything after everyone after else. After everyone else, and, yeah. And it's listening to some of the key speakers like such as Olivia Newton-John's husband, Amazon John. Oh yeah. Uh, he was at the conference and, and they sort of spoke about what's happening around the world and he said, we come to Australia and it's just different. It's, yeah. We're not approaching cannabis from from an open-hearted, compassionate perspective. Yeah. You know, in the in, since 2016, when, when the laws were changed under Dan's law, run, and which was uh, a movement done by Lucy Haslam, who lost her son yep. um, to, to cancer, and he wanted to get medical cannabis available to the general public. And that was two years, and in that two years, we've had 3,000 applications. That's it. Wow. And there's only been 57 approved GPs to prescribe medicinal cannabis. So. It's a program set in motion that was designed to fail, mm. and now it's time to move past it. And so everyday Aussies yeah. um, can can get behind their right, their natural right to access plant-based plant medicine. Yeah, a lot of people. Well, I don't know. There's a percentage of people that still think cannabis, cannabis is drugs, and you're going to get high. Share your take on that. Look, pretty much as simple as this. Too much of a good thing 
yeah. is always a bad thing. Yeah. It doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's chocolate, if it's water, mm. if it's bananas. Bananas, if you eat too many of them, that can kill you. Yeah. You but know, the so mycidinal mesidi- aspect of it, well, you're not going to get... You can access cannabis. Cannabis isn't just... Cannabis isn't going to save the world on its no. own. But yeah. it's most certainly the catalyst that can that can shape a movement to return us to nature. But what I want to say is that you don't have to be high to access the benefits from medicine. Yes. All right. So you can uh, suppositories don't enter the bloodstream. They don't affect the receptors in the brain. Mm-hmm. Um, you can use it on your skin through your skin, and you have so it absorbs endo, through the skin. Well, you have endocannabinoid cyst, um, receptor sites all the way through your skin throughout your whole body. It literally ah. everywhere in your body. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's not. You don't just have to. When you, if you were to smoke a joint, you yeah. burn eighty percent of the medicine in cannabis. Yeah. So you can take oral tinctures. You can have edibles. You can vaporize. And there's different cannabinoids. There's over one hundred and forty-seven different cannabinoids. Wow. Told you. There's a science here. You know. Walking encyclopedia. <laughs> <laughs> so. I mean, it's just, it's, at the end of the day, anyone can access this information and it's just being curious, looking, looking. and being passionate about yeah. wanting to help people heal yeah. that, that helps you to be enlightened to this stuff. And um, cannabis is a full, it's best as a full plant medicine, yep. you know, because the intelligence embedded in nature has, has done it far beyond what science can deduce. Yeah. So um, there's, a, there's a knack and that's that's what science is trying to work out. How do we prescribe cannabis for the right conditions? Um, but it's no reason to to hold back from people gaining access to cannabis when you can avoid the high completely. Yes. You know, there's so much clinical evidence to support cannabis use for people, kids with autism or yeah. ADD or yeah. ADHD. Um, there's so much support uh, for certain types of cancer. We're still learning what strains and, yep. and ratios. Um, there's so much for support for Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease, the second leading cause of death. It's in exciting Australia. to see where where it's just a matter of time. It's time um, because now because yeah, it's time now, and the people are starting to jump up and down. So I think we have to yeah. um, because if we don't, then the the regulatory bodies are going to do what they've done in the past, and it's, you're going to have access to some of it. Yeah. and what they allow you to have access yeah. to. But the first thing we need to do is decriminalise it. Stop, That's right. Stop putting people away that, that are, yeah, sure enough, you get good and bad with anything. Yeah. You know, there's people who, who don't have integrity in the way that they go about it. Yeah, but the way that they share it. There's a yeah, few companies in that that yeah. have been shut down because they've done it the wrong way. Um, but do you want to um, share a little bit about the video, like uh, the documentary? When's that coming out and what's oh, yeah. your role in that like yeah, how, sure. how can we spread yeah spread so the very happenstance how it all happened but uh, a good family friend of mine from Tamworth New South Wales yep um, they spent the last 15 months traveling around Australia and interviewing people who have accessed it legally and in the green market yep um, I don't want to say black market yeah um, and green in the green market and and also practitioners and doctors and and people that are in the know in Australia and have been working with cannabis yeah. And so it's a very, uh, very heartwarming and tear-jerking documentary. I could but imagine. It's, yeah. it's very, it's very educative. So we're going to be promoting it on the Sunshine Coast for for the conscious awareness. Um, and so you can go and see it um, in in Noosa, the BCC Cinemas. Yep. Uh, I think that's on the eighth. Uh, yep. Um, of next of May. Yep. And then on the fifteenth of May in Maroochydore. Yep. And there'll be one in Pomona and probably Nambour. Oh, I'm not going to be here in May. So um, for some of the viewers, because we have global presence and also all states in Australia, um, will there be viewings in the other states? Or Oh, yeah, it's, um, it's already popping up in, awesome. in New South Wales. Awesome. It's going to go all the way around Australia. So Well, if you could keep me posted on that, I'll um, be more than happy to share it with you guys and really encourage you all to get... Get, get yourselves in front of it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just just for no other, just to educate yourselves and mm. to be aware of what's happening because, you know, the people are the majority and, mm. and we force the change. Absolutely. And, and that's what starts with us. And, you know, if we, if we, it's not just about cannabis, it's about our greater health mm. and how, and our right to access real medicines and plant-based medicines. And so it, cannabis is just the catalyst. Yep. And so if we miss this opportunity to have this done right, yep. then we're really missing the boat in a whole another big, another big way. Yeah, so yeah. 
Yeah. Very exciting. So is there any last minute thing that you'd want to share with all the viewers here? Um, like I know there's been a lot of information, so um, I hope you've hung in there for the end. But I just, yeah, I'm, I'm very grateful and I'm very honoured that um, our paths oh, have you. connected. Yeah. Um, because uh, we were just talking earlier on, it's that ripple effect. One person can't do that much, even though they want to. But if you can align yourself with people such as us, you know, we can create create that ripple effect and get the word out there. Yeah, for sure. And it just it starts with 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 you. So do the work on yourself to take the steps to educate yourself and be accountable for your health. And there's people like us that help you take shortcuts in that. But ultimately, it's up to you. And if you can make the changes in your own life and you can get the chemicals out, it's the first thing you've got to do. Get them out of your life. And then you will cultivate an environment to heal, like we were saying earlier. Absolutely. But yeah, you don't need to be a hero to create change in this world. You just, and you don't need to convince anyone either. Yeah. Lead by being the change. Lead. Ah, yeah. oh, that's, that's my motto. Be the change you want to see in there the you world. Go. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Boom, boom. But yeah, <laughs> if, if you guys want to get access to some of the information that, that we'll be talking about. You can join our newsletter at, at atghealth.com uh, and every month we sort of put together a newsletter. It's wonderful. Next one will be on, um, well, I'm about to release a, a summary of the symposium. Wonderful. Um, so some of the key scientific takeaways and what's happening around the world. Um, next one will be on um, bees and mushrooms and, and how they interplay wow. in the natural world and, and in our bodies as well. Um, so yeah, just, um, yeah, just, just go for it, guys. Just, just tune in. Just yeah. tune in and, and, and return to the natural state and, and watch your life change around you when you do that. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you again. Thank you, Helga. And, oh, I was going to say, Danielle. Danielle, do you want to just come in and say goodbye oh, to everyone? Hey, guys. <laughs> you can sit on my lap, darling. There we go. So thanks again and um, I hope you enjoyed this. And please share it because, um, like I said, it's the ripple effect of um, all of us we can collectively change so many lives and it's just opening opening your your vision actually and yep. taking ownership and take an action take yeah action. take action mm -hmm. yeah. yeah all bye right bye thanks bye. see everyone bye for now bye